Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to bring this video. This is more like me working for almost three months as a temp hygienist. So I wanted to share with you guys like some pros and cons that I've experienced because you guys might be the ones thinking about becoming a temp hygienist after you graduate or something. So if you are considering to become a temp hygienist, keep watching. <laughs> All right, so let's first start off with some pros because we need some positivity. So the first one is flexibility because as a temp hygienist, you're able to create your own schedule and kind of go on from there, whether you want to pick up some shifts for specific days and stuff like that. So for me, I am using two to three different apps. So this is like through an agency or just dental platforms that are out there and just get connected to dental offices whether they need me or not so the flexibility goes on beyond and then you're able to adjust the working hours depending on the shift and you are able to decide which office you want to attempt because there can be multiple offices that are needing hygienists for this specific day or the office can directly book you for specific days that they need so i think in that way um, you get to modify your schedule if you want to. So I love that flexibility. All right, so let's move on to the second pro. So the second pro is the pay. Um, obviously, because I'm a temp hygienist and as a new grad like me, it's kind of interesting that I am getting higher rates than other hygienists. I'm going to say some hygienists. If you're not working for a corporate office or some like mega like a mega private owned dental office, I believe your rates can be somewhere in the middle and then it could be based on your experience and your skills. But as a new grad like me, significantly you're making a lot more money as a temp hygienist. So for me, I'm just gonna throw it out there. So the average rate for me is about 520 per shift and this is my typical eight hour shift. The rates can be differ for me every single time because it really depends on the office urgency or based on the rate that I want to claim. So there's multiple ways to have higher rates. You can counter offer the available shift because you think this is like last minute urgency that you want to commit for. Maybe this is like a corporate office that they need a temp hygienist and obviously, you know, the work's going to be a lot more than just regular dental office. So this could be very different for everybody. So for me in this area, dental hygienist is in high demand right now. I am very satisfied with my paycheck as a new grad. And then the third pro that I can think of is introduction. So as a new grad, you get to go into different offices and each time you're there uh, facing new equipment or dental products that the office use or the dental instruments that the office use. So it could be very different every time. And obviously you get to meet new people, like new patients every day or new staffs every day. And you get to learn under different dentists, obviously, every day. As a new grad, I've heard from many, many instructors that it might be a good experience to kind of temp around whether you fit into this office or this office, because there's going to be, you know, opportunities for you to work for that office permanently. So as a temp hygienist, I've been getting a lot of offers from different offices and there are lots of offices that I've liked to work for, but I am still considering because I love exploring different dental offices and I do have a trip coming up. So let's move on to the cons now. This might be a little more interesting for many of you guys. So the first one that I want to start with is managing your own schedule. Like I said before, the pro was just the flexibility of your own schedule. But on the other side of it, you have to create your own schedule. So you have to be the one managing your own schedule, right? Depending on the app that you're using, like the agency or the platform, 
there could be some last minute cancellations from the office. And depending on the app you're using, some may pay you for the fee or the entire booking because they cancel last minute or some app would not pay you at all. The definition of the last minute cancellation is very different with every single app. So for almost three months of working as a temp hygienist, the cancellations that happened was only twice. So this can be annoying. All right, so the next con is the reviews. So obviously because you are temping, you are getting reviews by the dental office. This is really to help out other dental office who want to book you. So that is something that you have to think about when you're working for each shift because you are representing your profile, yourself, you, the temp hygienist. Also, the third con is stress management. You know, this could be a good learning opportunity, but also the stress level can be higher than normal because you're not in a typical setting. Everything in the office, when you go in each morning, it could be different, like different tools or different dental software. The x-ray equipment can be different and the dental operatory chair could be different and the office flow dentist exam style could be different so this is something that you have to learn every single time you go into a new office so the last con that i have here is the traveling distance so as a temp hygienist we have to drive and make some different commutes every single day because the office could be located in different cities or something like that even though you get to pick up your own shift, uh, whether you like or you don't like. The office can be very nearby or kind of distant. So for me, the closest dental office that I like to visit is less than four miles, but also another favorite office that I would like to go in is about 18, 20 miles away from my house. So it could be a bit of drive, but if I like the dental office flow or the dentist or the staff or for whatever reason, I, if I like it, I would like to commute that long. So the traveling distance could be a little overwhelming. All right, so overall with my almost three month mark of being a temp dental hygienist, I love my career and I absolutely love what I do, the patient care and my job. So for the very first month, I believe I worked maybe two to three days a week and try to kind of see the flow because I was so scared in the beginning. But after the one month mark, I try to work five days a week. So I stayed busy. <laughs> so it did happen kind of naturally because it was during summer. So I think every office was kind of busy with all the kiddos before they go into school. So for working five days a week for temp dental hygienist is more like 38 hours, I believe. It could be different, but for me, it was about 38 hours. Working five days could be physically demanding, but it feels good to be working every day because I have the motivation to work for every single day and I'm a type who has to work, who has to be outside rather than being at home because I feel unproductive, so I'd rather stay outside. So this was my three month mark, almost three month mark of being a temp dental hygienist. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer the best I can. <laughs> and I'll come back with another vlog, so stay tuned and thank you guys for watching.